It's G and Lee with Miss G. Hi, friends. Welcome to It's G and Me. I'm Miss G, and I'm so excited today because we have a new story and we're doing something a little bit different. So, in this story, it's called When I Was Young in the Mountains by Cynthia Ryland. If you've heard of this story, awesome. I know I've taught it to my students, so they probably know which story this is about. But if you haven't heard it, that's okay too. Looking at the front cover, what do we think it's about? Well, the title is When I Was Young and in, in the Mountains. And I see two kids and I see, I think that's a mountain, right? It's a big hill that seems like a mountain. Well, you're correct. Now, what's really interesting about this story it's that it's about Cynthia Ryland, the author of the story, the person who wrote the words. She's talking about when she was young and little in the mountains. Isn't that cool? So we are going to think about what was Cynthia doing when she was young and in the past? And what do we do now? Well, just to have a little idea about Cynthia, she lived in Cool Ridge, Virginia. Cool Ridge, Virginia is somewhere here on the map, right? West Virginia. And just so we can have an idea, Miss G said, what about if I drove there? What would it look like? Well, it would take nine hours, my friend, nine and a half or eight and almost nine. So New York, that's where Miss G lives. And look, Cool Ridge, Virginia. So even though it doesn't look too far on the map, Nine hours is a really long time, my friends. Okay, now let's go through our story. And I want us thinking about um, Cynthia Ryland in the story and the pictures in the story. How can it show us what's the same and what's different about her life and our life? Now, this is talking about in New York, and my life and what I see now as opposed to the past in America. Definitely, there's going to be things that are still the same in other countries and other places. But for now, let's talk about in New York or in America, what's different. When I was young in the mountains, grandfather came home in the evening covered with the black dust of a coal mine. Only his lips were clean, and he used them to kiss the top of my head. Ooh, look at that. When I was young in the mountains, grandmother spread the table with hot cornbread, pinto beans, and fried okra. Fried okra is a type of vegetable. Later, in the middle of the night, she walked through the grass with me to the Johnny house and held my hand in the dark. I promised never to eat more than one serving of okra again. So we know okra is a vegetable, right? And it's sounding like she ate too much of it. She doesn't feel too good. So let's think about this picture and the words. What do you do when you feel not too good, when your tummy's kind of hurting? Maybe you lie down, maybe you go to mommy or daddy or your guardian, or maybe you go to the bathroom, right? <laughs> Sometimes when our tummy's hurting, we go to the bathroom. Well, in Cynthia's time, she did not have a bathroom. In the past, they did not have bathrooms. The past is a long time ago. In the past, they had something called Johnny houses. Johnny houses were their bathrooms. They were holes in the ground, no toilet, and that's where you would go to use the bathroom. And you had to go outside your house. Imagine if you had to use the bathroom and you had to go outside to do it. <laughs> well, again, friends, there's other countries and other places that this happens, but for us, it's also in the past for some of us. Now there's also something else in this picture and I don't know if you guys can see it. What is grandma holding there? 
a candle. Very good. How come she doesn't have a flashlight? Well, again, in the past, we did not have electricity. We did not have flashlights. We used something called candles, right? And you know what a candle is, but you've never had to use it to go anywhere, right? Did you have to use a candle, candle to go to the bathroom in the dark in your house? No, but in the past they did. Now, did they say in the words that grandma used the candle? Let's see. Later in the middle of the night, she walked through the grass with me to the dark Johnny house to help and held my hand in the dark. I promised never to eat more than one serving of okra again. They never said grandma's holding a candle. You had to use your looking eyes to notice the picture that she used a candle to get them there. And that was something different from Cynthia and uh, us, right? Cynthia in the past and us now. So that's what you have to notice. The picture is different from the words. You have to use everything, the picture and the words to figure it out. So here, let's see, picture or words or both. When I was young in the mountains, we walked across the cow pasture and through the woods, carrying our towels. The swimming hole was dark and muddy and we sometimes saw snakes but we jumped in anyway. Now let's look at the picture to help us out. Does it tell us in the words what season it is? No, but the picture does. I see green trees. I see a bright day. I see some feet <laughs> and shorts on. So what weather is that? What season is that, my friends? Summer. Very good. So it's summer. And where do you go in the summer? You might have been here. You might not have. You might not have, but that's okay. The swimming pool, right? When you're really hot, sometimes we go to the beach or a lake or sprinklers or swimming pool. So this is called a swimming hole. In the past, they did not have swimming pools. So they would dig a hole in the ground and dump water inside. And that was their swimming pool with snakes in it and all. Woo wee. On our way home, we stopped at Mr. Crawford's for a mound of white butter. Mr. Crawford and Mrs. Crawford looked alike and always smelled of sweet milk. When I was young and in the mountains, we pumped pails of water from the well at the bottom of the hill and heated the water to fill round tin tubs for our bath. That's another thing different, friends. Did you notice? Look at where they're getting their water from. Are they in the kitchen sink? Are they in, are they in the bathroom sink? Mm -mm. They used a well to pump water. They also had to get their water from outside. Just like they had to go use the bathroom outside, they had to get their water from outside. Afterward, we stood in front of the old black stove, shivering and giggling, while grandmother heated cocoa on top. When I was young in the mountains, we went to church in the schoolhouse on Sundays and sometimes walked with the congregation through the cow pasture to the dark swimming hole for baptisms. My cousin Peter was laid back into the water and his white shirt stuck to him and my grandmother cried. Even though they're saying the grandmother cried, you can see there's a lot of happy faces, so it's okay. Whoa! When I was young in the mountains, we listened to frogs sing at dusk and awoke to cowbells outside our windows. Sometimes a black snake came in the yard and my grandmother would threaten it with a hoe. Ooh, she's about to bite it. 
If it did not leave, she used the hoe to kill it. Four of us once draped a very long snake, dead of course, across our necks for a photograph. When I was young in the mountains, we sat on the porch swing in the evenings and grandfather sharpened my pencils with his pocket knife. Grandmother sometimes shelled beans and sometimes braided my hair. The dogs lay around us and the stars sparkled in the sky. A bob white whistled in the forest. Bob, bob, bob white. <laughs> bob white is a type of bird. When I was young in the mountains, I never wanted to go to the ocean and I never wanted to go to the desert. I never wanted to go anywhere else in the world for I was in the mountains and that was always enough. Looking at her face, friends, how do you think she feels about where she lives? In the mountains. Look at that. She probably feels happy, right? So she lived in the past. And in the past in America, we had different things. Do you guys remember some of the things that were different? Well, bum, 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 bum. The Johnny House, right? The candle. The swimming hole was also something that was different. Lots of things were different in the past. But even though they were different, Cynthia Rylett wouldn't change it for a thing. All right, friends, great job. Make sure to subscribe below. Make sure that you are checking up to see what's the new video out. I love you guys. You did an awesome job today. Have a great day.